everybody, this is Diane Timmering, Vice President of Spirituality. The message I wanted to start with today was kind of putting together or juxtaposing Psalm 35 with scripture in the New Testament from Matthew 6. Um, and I love this Psalm 35 message from King David when King David of course was pursued by the Philistines and pursued by King Saul and, and that army and in, in Psalm 35 uh, he, he cries out to the Lord, contend O Lord with those who contend with me fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler, arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like chafe before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. And I, I, I mean, that is really powerful. Those words are really powerful. I mean, you know, David's not saying, hey, forgive them. They know not what they do, right? He's saying, Lord, these people are after me. I am sad. I am upset about it. I, um, I, need, I need you to come be at my side. I need you to fight the fight for me. And I love that. I love the message, of course, and I love the fact that, you know, David is asking the Lord to fight for him. But what I like more about it is that he's honest. He's crying out. He's asking God for help, for, the, for, for, for what's deep in his heart and in his soul of what's pursuing him. He wants out. He wants it finished. He wants help. And I love the real message here is crying out to the Lord and, and, and praying and asking the Lord for that help to help resolve or to help that peace that you desperately need in a situation. But crying out, I mean, the Lord already knows what ails you and what hurts. And so crying out to the Lord, I think, is the key message here. And I like to juxtapose that with Matthew 7, <clears throat> excuse me, Matthew 6, 20, 25, <clears throat> where it, it talks about, therefore I tell you, you know, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is life not more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, or reap, or store away any barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, a single out? Can can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour? to your life. So I love that and this is the connection I'll make is by crying out, you cry out, you make the plea and then know he's got it. Don't worry. There's a surrender to it. No worry. Cry out, tell him your heart and then don't worry. He's got it. And I, you look at the winter time and the birds and that, you know, their coat, they're, they're fat, they're fed and they're warm. And if he cares so much to feed and, and, and clothe, if you will, the birds of the air, won't he do the same so much more for you? His beloved, who he loves, whom he is very well pleased. Love you and God bless you. This is Diane Timmering signing off.